This is a velocity vector diagram for a single row of impulse blades to which the following nomenclature applies. Note that the alpha, beta, and gamma in the figure are represented as lowercase a, beta, and lowercase y, respectively, in the text. Alpha equals steam entrance angle. V1 equals absolute velocity steam entrance. Beta equals blade entrance angle. V2 equals relative velocity steam entrance. Gamma equals blade exit angle. V3 equals relative velocity steam exit. VB equals blade velocity. And V4 equals absolute velocity steam exit. The component of absolute steam entrance velocity, V1, in the direction of the blade motion is shown by the vector FA equals V1 cosine alpha equals V2 cosine beta plus VB. The smaller the angle, alpha, can be made, the larger the component will be. Since it is only this component that does work on the blades, the steam entrance angle, alpha, is made as small as mechanical conditions permit. It varies between 12 degrees and 25 degrees. Furthermore, the more nearly complete the steam reversal is, the more work will be done on the blades. It is also necessary, therefore, to make the blade angle exit, gamma, as small as possible. It has been previously stated that in order to obtain maximum work from the steam jet striking a reversing blade, the steam must leave the blade with an absolute zero velocity. This condition cannot be realized with anything less than a complete reversal of the steam flow, so in a real situation, there must be a positive exit velocity, as represented by the vector V4 in the diagram. To minimize the exit velocity, V4 must be perpendicular to VB, as shown in the diagram. For this condition, V2 equals V3, and angle, beta, must equal angle, gamma. If you work through the geometry, you will find that the maximum work results from impulse blading when the steam enters the blade at angle alpha, the blade speed must equal one half cosine alpha times the absolute steam entrance velocity.